Hey guys, it's Emma here, and today we are doing um, a speed paint of an OC redesign and skinning in other skinner styles. So um, today I am doing five skins, and um, I know I'm supposed to post every Tuesday and Friday, but this video took so long to record, edit, prepare for. Um, I had to prepare for this by um, learning more about my OC. So basically, uh, she sat in a certain world, but I didn't know much about her world. So let me show you up, uh, show how she used to look, uh, the adopted one. And then my other one, which was, who was going to be originally the story's protagonist, but um, did not end up being because I kind of morphed them together. Well, I didn't really morph the designs. I used uh, I did a whole complete design that matches the climate of the place that she's in. So basically she's in kind of a place like Vancouver. It's pretty cold. Um, but I used um, kind of reference images to inspire how she's doing. So right now I'm just doing the initial design that I'll base everything after. So um, let's pop up the reference images I use. I um, used the one in the top right corner the most. Um, you can probably tell whenever it's done. But yeah, so I just wanted to have her to have like a jacket. Um, I kind of knew the color scheme. The original was actually adopted um, from Hello Girl, I think 71. I can't remember the numbers. I'll put them there. But uh, And the original looks like this. But um, I've definitely deviated from that design. Um, so now on to basically what this skin is. Uh, about the skin so like I said I based it off of those but I basically started the skin with more pinkish hair which as you can see as before it's not how it originally was but like I, uh, you can see now I'm changing it and I believe I'll change it again because I was kind of having difficulty like how purple how do I want it how pink how saturated um, but in the end I really like how what color I chose so I really like the design and the color scheme and um I'm not going to tell you much about the actual OC besides, like I said, the climate where she lives in. Um, you know, it's a big city um, with cold weather most of the time. So that's how I wanted to dress her. That's something I really want to improve my OCs to make them actually fit in with the environment, especially because uh, this OC is part of a project I'm doing. More like, like I said, it's kind of like a novel. So who knows if that will ever happen, but. Um, so yeah, this is the style I'm doing right now is just my own style, my own simple style um, that I have always done and that I love and I'm not moving away from it. But what you'll see soon is that I'm trying to work on a new, uh, more complex style that I won't use all the time, but just sometimes probably more for like reshade contest, just whenever I feel like it, which, um, yeah, I've kind of, I'll talk more about it when we get there, but I really love simple styles. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Some people think a skin has to look realistic to be good. That's not my opinion. Um, I really love how simple styles look and especially how they look in game because the game is cartoon. But um, like I said before, I'm going to be doing three uh, skins. I don't know if I said this before actually, but I'm going to be doing three skins in other Skinner styles. So. Uh, you'll see when they pop up, but uh, it'll be Blossom Boop style, Mochi style, and Leia 111 style, and I'll tell you more about those when we get there. But now I'm starting to do the complex hair shading, which um, I used a very long time ago, and then until recently I haven't actually used it again. So let me pop up some pictures of how I've used it before, um, just to show, because I wanted to find a style that matches a shading style of the clothes that in the skin that matches uh, the hair because it's complex compared to what this compared to my normal shading and I wanted them to go together so I'll pop up a little thing I started to enter a reshade contest and I was kind of messing around with shading so that's where it originally originated from it's by me but like that's where the idea came from was from that skin and then I transferred it over here um, so now um, this is just a little pop-up of how the colors differ that's why we have this little slowed down bit this is blossom boop style 
which uh, I'm just showing how I had to use more saturated colors because that's how her style is. So let me just put a little pop-up of Blossom Boop's profile so you can kind of see the types of skin she does. Um, sometimes you will see me looking at her skin for a reference. That's just because, well, it's very hard to edit out because in real life I just did it very fast. But also because I wanted you to see like where I was getting the references from. So Blossom Boop is so nice. She has amazing skins. Um, which we definitely do have different styles and this is one of her newer ones so for some of it it was kind of hard to um, see like like it was hard to figure out what exactly how some things were shaded because um, this was kind of a newer style so I had less references but I think I did good and as you can see I changed up the outfit a lot that's because I don't want to just do the shading styles different um, I want the design to kind of look like something that they have made before or would do. So that's why I added like the little kind of overalls thing. Um, I don't really know what you call it, like a dress over, I don't know. But she's made skins like that before, which I think look really good. So again, so here's a little slow down. This is mochi skin, um, mochi style now. Look how I desaturated the colors a lot, as you can see, because that is her style, because here's a little pop-up of her profile. Um... She uses very desaturated colors. Her shading differs from mine because there's less contrast between the colors. Uh, but she still hue shifts and I think it looks great. Like there's nothing wrong with it. I just realized the difference. Um, this one, I really, I just really like how this one turned out. I, well, I like how all of them did. But um, later on, I make the hair look more purplish. Uh, because it kind of looks brown here. Which she does have a very desaturated style, but not that much. Um... But she definitely makes adorable skins, and like I said before, I want it to look like a skin that they could actually make on their own. So, um, that's why I did uh, the kind of off-the-shoulder thing. You can see the reference I was using does something like that. I think it's super cute. It looks great. So, I was like, hmm, maybe like that's how she would do it if I was in her style because she's done something like that before. Um, so, I fixed the face shading because the way I did it the first time was like not really accurate and didn't really look good. She does, like, on some of her skin, she does, like, half of it is darker and half of it is lighter. So that was pretty fun because I've never really made a skin like that before. So that was pretty fun to test out. Um, and she does these little pigtails, like, for overlay on the hair. And that is, like, so cute. Like, <laughs> I, I had to add that. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I, I want it. Oh, so, see, I did the purple. I'm more purple. I don't know. Um... If, if she would do more saturated, less, um, I don't really know, but this is just kind of my interpretation of their style, so if they want to, like, recreate my skin and see how it looks and compare what I thought their style was, my interpretation to their actual style, that would be pretty cool, um, but none of them have to do it, uh, if they do, I'll show it in the next video, but yeah, I really like how she does the overlay, uh, on the back of the hair, it's pretty satisfying. Um, as you can see for the past two skins, I added more of the curly hair at the front. That's because that's how they do their style with straight hair in the back, curly hair in the front. So I just wanted to, like, uh, accentuate how the differences look, if that makes sense. Like, accent, how different they are. So this is Leia 111 style, which, uh, just jumped straight into. I had 9 hours and 24 minutes of footage of making the skins. Uh, here's a comparison of the different colors. Uh, her black, she doesn't usually do straight up black. She does like kind of a dark blue, uh, which I think looks really good. And um, I made the purple, or I made like the hair more pinkish because I've noticed that she does more of her purples more pink, which I think looks great. Um, but it was just a difference I noticed. Um, so I tried to incorporate that. I don't really know. So... If I got the shading on the actual arms down and like the back of it, I tried my best. Leia definitely does more of like a, she does very, very interesting and unique designs with like asymmetry and stuff like that. Like, uh, and I love how she does a shoe. So I've been following Leia and we've been friends, like skin X friends for so long. Let me just pop up with. This was like one of our first interactions on Skindex, which was like four years ago. So I think that's just crazy that um, we've known each other for so long and we continue 
for this long to be supporting each other. So I just thought that was really cool to mention. Uh, make sure to check out everyone in the description, all the links to their profiles. But uh, yeah, this was definitely very fun to do. Uh, I really like how unique the design looks and how I like how all of them, they all look different, but like you can kind of see it's based off the same skin. So now we're here to the montages where you get to see uh, all the skins uh, in game. So Minecraft, my Minecraft was acting kind of uh, like laggy, so just try to ignore that, please. Um, but yeah, uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to comment your thoughts. Uh, which interpretation do you think I match to their actual style the best? And make sure to follow everybody that I based their skins off of. Um, I ask for permission from all of them, so um, it's not like I'm just randomly doing this without their permission. Uh, I love all their styles, they're so talented, and I thought it was really cool to like compare how different our styles are and similar in some ways. Um, because, yeah, like it's just cool to see how different all the skins turned out. Um, so... All the skins to download will be linked in the description. Uh, here's this little animation of the thumbnail. I don't really know how good it looks, but anyway, bye! Mm -hmm.